Hello friends, what's up? So I'm sitting in my car and I am ready to go to the gym But I thought I'd just chit chat a little bit before we head out My skin, so I'm not wearing like blush But my skin is having, do you guys remember from a few vlogs ago? My when I put on like a moisturizer, it starts burning so bad like right here And it almost feels like my my cheeks start burning and then they're like puffing up So obviously I think it has to do with my moisture skin barrier or whatever so i'm trying to fix it except you guys know i haven't been using any crazy like acne type of products that could be burning to my skin i have a trip coming up in less than three or four days and it's a brand trip so i want to like you know i want my skin to look good for it let me get my sunglasses out still feel like very shy wearing them because they they I look like the Terminator and I never wear sunglasses. Uzair feels the same way like my brother because we never wear sunglasses. He's like, every time we wear them, we look so extra, but everybody wears sunglasses. So I'm going to put these on. We're actually going to head to the gym first. That's number one priority. I'm going to go kill the legs today and that way the entire body hurts and it feels just, it feels good. Even though sore muscles don't directly relate to like a good workout, it still makes me feel good. So we're going to go work out now. Oh, and if you guys want to know how I make my iced coffee at home and I don't go to Starbucks every day, let me know because the Nespresso is coming in such good use. My brother loves it and yesterday my parents came over and my dad loved it and it's just like a good time. Okay, bye. I'm so sweaty, but I refuse to change these because I'm only at 3,600 steps. I still need to hit 10K, so I'm thinking of doing that now before I sit down to film. But we'll see because if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, TikTok, tiktok i'm actually doing a new series which is um close-up makeup tutorials without any skin filters i normally don't use any crazy skin filters when i'm doing uh, makeup tutorials but they're usually far and they're filmed with my iphone and iphone like kind of you don't get to see all the pores and stuff so i have this like fancy high definition camera that i used anyways i went on a random tangent so i'm gonna film the more of those today but so july 20 i have to drink these fast they expire july 2022 and there's like 10 more i don't know how i'm gonna do it um so this is the alani new one I'm scared now that my nails will like they'll get chipped before i even get to like go on my trip which like no one's looking at my nails on the trip but just for fun so i wear a mouth guard every single night to stop my teeth from grinding i've been wearing it probably now for like f over five years every single night and recently, I mean, I should have noticed earlier, but I noticed now that when I shut my teeth, like when I shut my jaw, my teeth, they don't like touch and they don't overlap. Like, you know how normal teeth, like the front should overlap right on top of your, like right in front of your bottom teeth. And I only notice this because if I'm trying to like open a, like a packet or something, they, it doesn't come in between my teeth. So I can never grab onto it to rip it open. I always have to use scissors. Um, I have to get a dentist appointment, but I'm just wondering if anyone else had that issue And if you did is it bad, but I have a dentist appointment in a few weeks So I mean I'll ask her but I'm just curious because it is annoying not being able to like hold and Rip something this is thick so I can do it, but if it's like paper, there's no way hi so I Honestly, it might look like I have a shopping addiction or something but I am vlogging every day or every other day for like seven days before putting it all in one vlog so it just seems like a lot anyways i don't have to justify it so i went to the mall yesterday with uzair i needed some clothes he needed some clothes both of us didn't find any clothes um i have a trip coming up so i wanted like i have one dinner with the brand so i wanted like a cute outfit but i'm gonna just shop my own closet see what works but i bought just two things something from lush and something from the body shop and i love like skincare product hauls but i wanted to talk about this look at this little baby sample it was there i was looking at colognes and he bought one from creed and i i love floral smells you guys know me um so this one is called white flowers and it's a mix of jasmine and i'm not sure what other notes <sighs> but if you know me i used to love rose now i don't really care for rose too much but i'm now i'm like obsessed with jasmine and this smells we got one in dubai and it was also jasmine but anyway she gave me a sample size because i kept smelling it and i was like ah uh, but it's so expensive you guys this these perfumes like the big bottles are like 500 or something so i didn't want to just buy the whole bottle 
I'm not like a perfume wearer, you know? I don't really, like I, I don't know, I just always forget to spray it on myself. So I would rather first like train myself to be a perfume wearer and then get something expensive like that. So from the body shop, you guys know I love the body shop. I love their, they have this hemp um, body shop, uh, they have this hemp body wash oil and that's all I use to shave. Like it's the best thing ever. It's up in my shower. I'll show you guys because I'm about to go shower. But I got these exfoliating uh, gloves. I always hear people talk about how good these are. So I'm actually going to just put this in my shower and use it. I just don't know. Am I supposed to use this with my body wash and then just like scrub myself or what? what it, like how do I do this? Um, and then... If you're a guy or you know a guy, Uzair actually loves these beard oils from uh, the body shop. So we picked up two. It's cedar and sage conditioning beard oil. And he says he literally uses it every single day and he loves it so much. Um, and then I also picked up this, which is the body shop sleep relaxing hair and body wash. And it's like lavender scented. Now I wouldn't, is it focusing? I wouldn't use this for my hair, but I would obviously, I do want to use it for my body. So it came, they gave me like a separate pump. Let me stop my, so I'm going to just put this in here. I'm actually in a shower right now and it's still only six o'clock, but I'm going to use this right now because I don't want to shower later. I want to shower now. So I'm going to use this and then from Lush, and then from Lush, I just picked up one thing and it's a repurchase and it's called magic crystals it's a shower scrub it looks like this hello focus so it looks like this um and it's so good so it's a ex super thick exfoliating scrub <sighs> smells so good you guys it's a little i don't want to say like minty but it's like a um yeah, it's basically kind of minty. I, I, if I could explain what it smells like, I totally would. It has This has Epsom salt in it, so it's not like, a, you know, on some body washes. Or you guys have actually seen me make my own body scrubs and you use sugar. Sugar is less abrasive. I've, I, like, did all this research when I was making my own. Um, but this is made from Epsom salt, so whatever you're using to scrub your body is actually salt. So you have to be careful with this. Do not use it when you have any cuts on your body and do not use it after shaving i made that mistake because i forgot and it burnt my skin so bad not like actually visually burned but my skin was like on fire for a little bit so only use this honestly like once a week do not scrub too hard like just lightly do this and that's enough don't like press it into your skin but i really like this i, I like sometimes feel like lush products are overhyped but this i love and then they have this blue soap that i love from there too i just didn't buy it this time around i don't know why i should have good morning you guys see how yellow this lighting is i kind of regret changing the bulbs i won't lie i i forgot that the reason why i liked to have the white lighting in the house was because it looks so much better on camera and my makeup <clears throat> And you're able to see like your makeup better when you're doing your makeup. So, oh my God, I don't know. Now I feel like I'm gonna have to change it because this is just way too yellow and orange. I'm not a fan. Anyway, I'm actually going to make myself some breakfast. I never, I usually like don't have breakfast. I'm not a breakfast person. Today, instead of going to the gym, I'm actually gonna do the fat loss challenge at home. If you guys don't know, I have a home fat loss challenge. It's $20, everything is done at home. It's five workouts a week. And it's all body weight things, so you don't need any extra equipment, and it's all HIIT workouts. So I feel like this is the perfect time to actually add it into my routine. So I'm going to be doing it uh, myself three times a week. I'm not going to do the whole five times a week because you guys know I'm also back to lifting. And then one day a week, I'm going to be boxing. So I just want to like switch it up. And, I, and the course is actually like it's, each workout is only 35 minutes. So days like today where I don't feel like driving all the way to the gym or stepping out of the house, I can do a 35 minute workout at home and um it'll be good so i'm actually gonna i this is the first time i'm doing my own workout with an apple watch now apple watches don't and all like fitness tracking and watches they don't track your calories and stuff properly so please don't like 
rely on your Apple Watch or any other fitness a watch that you have um, to tell you how many calories you're losing in a day or whatever because it's m not accurate most of the time. So I can't even explain to you guys how many times I get asked through emails or even through comments about oh can you tell me how much your apple watch tells uh how many calories you burn on your apple watch so i'm gonna do it for fun i'm also gonna track because i'm curious so i'm only at 280 steps for the for the day um so i'm curious how many steps is in that 35 minute workout so i'm very excited anyways i'm gonna do some work before i get to work out that's another good thing about ha doing home workouts is you don't have to worry about how busy the gym is gonna be because because normally I'd be like, oh my god, I need to get to the gym before it's rush hour or busy time at the gym. But if you're working out at home, you don't have to stress about anything. I'm going to make myself two eggs. I'm going to make an omelet. And then I have these two pieces of bread uh, that are probably going to go bad soon. So I'm just going to eat bread with it. An eyelash. I have an eyelash appointment refill at 3 p.m. So I want to do the workout before that because once you get eyelashes on... Um, you're not supposed to get them wet and stuff for 24 hours after Okay, so I changed honestly if I was doing this uh, the fat loss challenge at home by myself Not filming I would be doing this in like tights and a t-shirt or a tank top to be honest because it gets really hot You guys it gets so hot, but I am filming it and all my long sleeve like thin shirts are in the wash So we're gonna be doing it in sweater. What else is new? I'm really used to it all right, so I'm gonna keep a water next to me and honestly, we're gonna do it right there in my living room. So I'm just gonna clear away, I'm gonna clear away the table and make some room here. And then I'll just post it. I mean, I'll just be playing it on my actual, I'll be playing it on my actual TV, so. Luckily, you don't need that much space. You just need like a little box of space. So you don't have to move the sofas or anything. I'm just gonna move the table out of the way and we're good to go. The goal of the entire challenge is just to keep moving. Um, so even if you can't do the work, the desired movement for the entire one minute by yourself, the goal is just to keep moving. If you guys don't know how this works, basically it's a 35 minute on and off circuit and you have three minute rounds. So you have, let's say one, for example, one minute of high knees, one minute of burpees, one minute of jumping jacks, and then you have a one minute break. And then you repeat that two more times. You, then you have another circuit with different movements, same concept. And then you do the first one again. So total three rounds of nine minute each circuit. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, you're about to see me doing it in fast motion. And I'm, Okay, so I'm logging in. I'm going to start my workout. And so basically each challenge is unlocked after every 30 days. This challenge number one, you have your introduction videos. And then here we have week one, day one, week one, day two, three, four, five. Another thing that you'll notice is that a lot of these workouts, for example, this one, let me turn off the sound. It has the easier version of every single movement. That way, if you cannot do this the entire minute, you can do this one as long as you keep moving. So I'm currently at 889 steps and I'm about to, I'm about to start my workout now. I'll see you guys in 35 minutes. <laughs> 11 minutes down. Time for circuit number 2. <sighs> down. Done. All right guys, so we're back at 3,630 steps. We start at 889. And, and the workout, 34 minutes, 354 calories. Not bad for a 34 minute workout. I have 45 minutes before I have to leave for my lash appointment, so I'm happy I got the workout done with. So I'm gonna be doing these workouts uh, three times a week. But I'm actually going to do two workouts in one. Um, so I don't recommend this for any beginners because after your first workout, your calves are going to be so sore. Your feet are going to be very, very, very sore. And every other muscle in your body. Like you guys. So I'm actually going to be doing this three times a week. And then I'm going to double up the workout. So I'm going to do two. How I just did one, I'm actually going to do one more usually after. Because that makes it an hour of cardio. And it's going to be perfect for me. So... Okay, time to go shower.
so I have to quickly shower. I still haven't showered. I got distracted by social media. I have to... It's about a half an hour drive to Etobicoke where I get my lashes done from. So I'm going to quickly chug this protein shake. And then I'm going to quickly shower, change, and head out. I always like to be early because, you know, sometimes finding parking and stuff takes a while. So I don't ever want to, like, make someone wait, you know? Whew. I've already had such a hectic morning, you guys. Oh my god. So it's it's 12.30. Hold on, my leg is so itchy right now. So it's 12.30. I got up at 8 o'clock. I went for my Pilates class at 9. And then I went to Walmart. And I went to get a new luggage, which is right here. Went to, like, the luggage store. I guess it's called Bentley. And I got myself a new set of luggage. And then I got myself a backpack. Because, you guys, I'm actually going... Since I'm literally my trip... I land tomorrow at 7 p.m. I have all of Wednesday and then Thursday early morning I'm flying back so I'm literally only there for one day I have one dinner if you guys can guess in the comment section who what brand do you think I'm going on the trip with it's a celebrity owned makeup brand and we're actually gonna have dinner with the actual like you know the founder so uh, if you guys have any guesses let me know anyways cute backpack and what I'm going to do, I got the set of this, obviously, but I'm going to try to actually only pack the smallest carry-on and just take these two as my carry-on. Because like I said, I'm literally only there for one day. How many things do I will I need to take? Um, then I picked up these makeup wipes. I picked up this set because I'm actually going to put my makeup in these little containers. So I just need these little tube things for my foundation like anything that's liquid so i'm going to put a f like five or five or ten pumps of foundation in this and then i'll put all my other liquids and i'm hoping to just fit my makeup in this i know it sounds crazy but i'm going to try to take like compact versions of everything i picked up a small little toothpaste i picked up a baby little deodorant with some hair dye in my hair and then for lunch today i have i don't know if you can see looks like this here we go so i have some chicken breast i have some rice i put some extra chili flakes on it i'm gonna eat this and then um wash my hair and then i'm gonna get to packing i'm about to shave my face i just wanted to quickly show you guys how i do it so i get these little razors you can get them from Walmart, you can get them on Amazon, wherever you want. And then get any oil that you have. This is, I just have a wishful one. And now we're just going to drop this on our face and then just shave. It's very easy actually. You don't have to let it like soak in fully, but just you want the skin to be like slippery, you know? Then I'm just going to hold up here and I'm going to start going downwards. There we go. It's easier with like if you have a mirror in hand. I do not have a mirror, guys. I'm going to take these. They're like the Chanel. Um, I don't know what they're called, but they're Chanel. They're really cute and they're actually decently comfortable. And then, and then I'll put these. Once I figure out what I'm wearing, then I'll know more. It's obviously gonna be jeans and a cute top, maybe. But yeah, I don't think I. I don't need to take any running shoes or anything like that honestly so i'm also gonna pack um this as my crossbody i haven't actually worn this in months because i'm obsessed with my little wallet that's on my keys but i think because i'm wearing black shoes this will tie in with that because i'm pretty sure i'm wearing a white shirt so um and it'll just be nice to have i don't know about you guys but like if i'm at an event i never know what to do with my hand so i could just kind of fiddle with this i packed my foundation in this i just put a few pumps of both of the foundations that i was going to take so now we have a very small amount of liquids in there i have this setting spray which is only um 34 milliliters so i'm actually going to keep this in here because 34 milliliters is under 100 same with this this is 15 milliliters so i'm going to keep that there and then i'm not going to take my flawless filter because i don't know this application applicator looks like this so i don't know how i would pack that foundation my concealer my setting spray okay guys so i'm pretty sure i did it i'm having to leave behind some products but because i'm gone for such a short time it's really not that big of a deal so I have all my liquids in here. I'm assuming liquid lipstick is 
considered liquid so i put it in here i have all my liquids in here and then i think i'm ready to see if everything will fit so let's see i feel like everything will fit okay workout clothes i'm taking um because i'm i'm only gonna end up being able to do two workouts there so i'm gonna take tights and like a tank top or a t-shirt because taking a tracksuit will be way too thick to fit it into here so i'm just taking my tights that can roll up nicely and then i have then i have my sports bra like this i have a pair of socks i have the shirt that i might want to wear i might go shopping when i get there just to see if i can find any cute outfits my bra then I have a few t-shirts to sleep in. Um, I have this because I might want to wear it on my head depending on how I feel about my hair. I have two pairs of jeans. I have the Chanel shoes, the slippers, and then I have my little Gucci bag. There we go. I also have a hair curler. hair clip and then I have this jasmine oil that I'll put in here now the only things that I'm gonna have to leave behind are my dry shampoo and this texture building spray but I might be able to just find uh, travel size versions over there so I'm gonna leave these behind liquids I, mean, I didn't get that oh my Could you god try? what is wrong with you my liquids I'm gonna put them in my backpack so they're easy to take out and then Mouth card goes in my backpack and then all of my non-liquids are going to be in here. There we go. We're all packed. I'll well show you guys what's in my backpack as well. I have in this pocket, I just have like hair ties and bobby pins and stuff. And then in this pocket, I have my lip balm, I have my mouth guard, I have my work phone, my charger, my gravels and my inhaler and then i have my passport and my wallet in this pocket i have a bunch of masks and then in this big pocket i'm gonna put my laptop but actually i'm gonna, I'm gonna charge my laptop right now i'm also gonna have my airpods in there they're also charging and i'm gonna have this clip on my butterfly clip Oh, and then I'm going to put my liquids in here. That way, when they tell me to take out all my liquids, I'm going to pull them out of here. Okay, so I'm now about to do the dishes. I'm just going to put it all in the dishwasher. I'm going to clean up a little bit, take out the garbage. That way, there's a clean house. I mean, Rosario's going to be here, but at least it'll be a little clean by the time I come back. Um, so yeah, let me do this. It's not fun. I just finished uploading. Uploading. Yeah, uploading the dishwasher and um, the dealership called and my car is ready for pickup so I'm about to actually pay right now and then I'm gonna walk because it's an hour walk pick it up and drive straight to the gym I'm going to take one of these for breakfast car is ready I'm a little lazy to go to the gym but I know I should go because I still have so much time before my flight hmm there she is, nice and clean. And now I guess we go to the gym. Like, I don't want to, but I have so much time. My flight actually just got delayed. And it's only 30 minutes, so it's not bad. But I ordered myself some food because I'm going to be starving by the time I get to the airport. And the worst thing, that for me at least, that I can do it when I get to an airport is be very hungry. Because then I just eat all the junk food and... I have goals to hit. So I just ordered some sushi. These are but four butterfish and then uh, two of the salmon. And we have about 40 minutes before we have to leave. So I'm chilling now. Got my backpack. Ozair is using the washroom and then we're off. Have I ever shown you guys the car? His car has these really cool lights. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 